guys. I would say good morning, but I did that already when I was closing last week's vlog. Yeah, I got very busy doing a lot of things at once yesterday, and I was still kind of tired from our trip to California, so I just forgot it happens. Despite the alarm, I might say. I do have an uh, alarm on my phone, but still forgot. Anyway, if you do follow my vlog and follow me on social media, you'll know I just finished out of scrap and leftover yarns a bucket hat um, from a Jenna Phipps pattern. I will put some pictures here. Um, she has a YouTube channel here, and I will link her channel down below. She does a lot of DIY stuff. It's very inspiring. Uh, and this week, I have some more leftover yarn, and I have a pattern from another YouTuber whose channel I'll link below called a Mood Nude. Mood Nude? Yeah, I think it was a Mood Nude. It's like a Mobius scarf. And I'm going to using, be using some more leftover yarn to make that this week. But first, I need to eat some lunch. Yeah, Mr. Bob's going to be uh, working with his cars today. And we'll go for a walk later. We're still kind of recovering from being exhausted from traveling. But, you know, the older you get, the harder it is to snap back quickly, right? All right. Anyway, I'll be back. Bob dragged me away from my chair and my crocheting. It's about 79 degrees out yeah, Sunday yeah. afternoon. Bad Mr. Bob. <laughs> we are going out for a walk to get some steps in, trying to make a concerted effort because we've been really bad about it lately. And uh, that's what happens when you're traveling. Anyway, I'm going to go see what we can see before it gets any hotter. And then go home and, I don't know, maybe watch a movie or something. We'll see. I'll be back. I'm running the faucet to try to get it to get hot. Oh, that did wonders for my hair. Oh my God. Um, so I literally took some rags. I kind of draped them on the dress form before I left. And I spent some time this morning after, now that we're back for a couple of days, putting them together with some late random laces that I had in my stash. And I'll put a picture here. Um, it's kind of cute the way it turned out. I honestly, I have no idea if I'll ever wear it. I just did it to see if I could. Um, yes, all the seams are on the outside. That's on purpose. I want it to be raggedy. Um, and if I, it does turn out cute and I want to wear it, I think I know what I would wear it with. Um, but rather than leaving it like off white and blue, I think we're going to try to dye it. Now this blue part is linen and I've already dyed it once and it came out this color. I don't remember what color dye I used on it. It might have been this teal. It might have been something else. I don't know. So we're going to just try it again and see what happens. Um, I don't know if all the lace is something that's going to take the dye well. We're going to just try. I'll be back. Editing the vlog, getting that loaded, working on mood boards for RT Trio. I wasn't going to do this again right now, and it's definitely not even dry. But oh my god, and the lace didn't take the dye the same color as the linen, which I didn't really expect it to. I love the results. Oh my god. You guys. It's literally scraps and bits of fabric. Sewn together, leave the edges raw. Uh, I kind of like it, more than kind of. All right, I'm gonna sit and chill for a little bit. Bob's still working. I also drafted a bag pattern 
for a bag I saw a YouTube channel make. I'm gonna put the name here because I'm not gonna try to say it because I'll probably mess it up. And I really respect her channel and I don't wanna do that. So if anybody knows the proper pronunciation, please let me know. Anyway, she did this really big um, uh, over the shoulder bag and I really was intrigued by that. I've got extra canvas and stuff and I kind of, and denim, black, I got a lot of black denim. So although I don't carry handbags that much anymore, this would be one I might need to make an exception by because it's pretty cute and really big. All right, would fit a little small uh, art kit very easily. All right, so the pattern's drafted and ready to go, but that's for tomorrow's Gina. <laughs> Today's Gina just needs to get the video loaded that's edited for the vlog. Hope I took all the music out that was in the background. I guess I'll find out <laughs> when it goes live, but anyway. Um, and then turn the computer off, cause yeah. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I, it's almost lunchtime and I'm working on a bag, um, the bag I mentioned yesterday and I put it out to patrons and supporters um, lace or no lace and they said lace so I will show you it when it's done but I'm at the stage where I finally have the lace attached to the outside and I've got the pocket attached to the inside so now it's time to put the zipper in and all of that I don't know if I can get it done be in the next hour or not but I just found out I'm babysitting and I am not mad about it so yeah, I'll be back. This is going to be a great travel bag. Oh my goodness. This is fabulous. I love it. And so, because I made it out of blanket fabric, it's super comfortable. Like, I mean, I know there's nothing in it, but the strap is nice and wide and squishy. So, sorry, the son-in-law is messaging me. Anyway, I got the bag done, which was the primary thing I wanted to do today. I am kind of thinking about making another one, but we'll see. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean up my mess and at least try to have bone broth before Thomas gets here and maybe move his bouncer upstairs. Cause yeah, all right, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, after watching Grandson for the afternoon and evidently that's gonna come a, become a regular thing twice a week. Can't say I'm mad about it, just FYI. <laughs> anyway, he was he's a sweet little baby and um, we um, were able to spend a lot of time together, me and Junior, and I made the one bag right before he got here. That's right, I said one bag. And while he was napping, I got a second one cut out, and then after he went home, I, I just sewed it, I just finished it. Out of some thrifted jeans left over from the black jacket. I have the back pockets here, and there's two more on the other side. I put some little, I crocheted these like a million years ago. And on the inside, we have cactus fabric. Because why not? I mean, these bags are really cute. They're comfortable. Um, I just, I could see traveling with them because this and then my backpack, that's like all I need. I'll link the video down below. If you make one, I'd love to see what you do. I did obviously kind of combine her pattern with T. Myers, Tracy Myers' idea of embellishing things, raw edges. But I mean, the basic idea is from the video I'll link down below. I guess it's time I clean up and have dinner since it's after six o'clock. I'm looking forward to spending more time with my grandson too. Can't wait, I'll be back. Good morning everybody. We are headed out this morning to go run some errands. It's Wednesday, Oma's day off. <laughs> so it looks like going forward, I will be doing a fair amount of babysitting to help the kids out with Junior. And all of that stuff, which I am very happy to do cute little dog walking in the neighborhood. Anyway, um, I am very happy to do. I do kind of feel like I got a new job, but that's okay. Nice. We are back home. I've had lunch, put everything away. 
I found a blanket when I was out shopping today for a decent price. Not thrifting prices, but I got it at a home dis goods discount store. Anyway, to make my dad's blanket coat bathrobe thing that he wants me to make him because he loved my blanket coat. So I found one that'll work for him, that for him. He's colorblind, fun fact, but, and he doesn't care if it's covered in flowers, but I want to make him something that's nice. So I found this blue um, quilted bed covering that I think will work really well. It's like a washed, a faded denim blue. So I'm going to get that cut out today. I don't know if I'm going to see him before Father's Day or not. Probably not until after. There's another trip coming up where I have to take him to the airport too. I got to nail him down on when that is. Um, <laughs> anyway, while I was out today, I went by the P.O. Box and I have happy mail. This is from Aunt Beck's Creations here on YouTube. Uh, and um, yeah, this is really great. I have no idea what's in here. She just said, can I send you happy mail? And I said, sure. Um, I do have a happy mail address. It's down in the video description. Should you would like to send me something? I appreciate every little bit. And I am attached by blood or other ways to lots of creative people. So if you send me something that I can't use for whatever reason, that doesn't mean I don't appreciate it. Um, I just already have a lot of stuff and I will make sure it goes to somebody who can use it. So I just got a quick peek in here and there's some fun stuff in here. So, okay. <laughs> wow. And there's a card. There's some, I don't know what this is here. It looks like a finished garment. Okay, there's a note. So let me read the note and I'll be right back. Or Becky McCauley um, is her given name. Um, she makes a lot of, she sews and does mixed media like I do. And she, like I, enjoys painting and uh, making journals and things. And when she found out I had a grandbaby, she thought she'd send me a couple things. So she made me a little brag book to use for his pictures and things. Look at this, how cute that is. With a little, little ribbon. Oh, wow. Completely loaded with pages and flip outs and look at this. Oh, Becky, I will definitely use this. I can't wait. It's got I've already started a scrapbook for him because, yeah, this is what you do when you have grandkids. You go back to uh, scrapbooking. This is great. And there's like tons of pages in here. And there's, oh, there's this in here. And then there's a bunch of these to write different things. This is great. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I just found out today that I'm going to be doing my first art project with Junior. So you're propped up right now on some washable kids paint that's a thing all right she also made him she does a lot of charity sewing for children in need and um makes a lot of kids garments and she made some stuff for junior you know what let me go see if pops is in a meeting hold on earlier i was going to the p.o box to pick up happy mail yeah that's mail. so yeah it's from aunt Bex creations here on youtube um, Aunt who? Aunt Bex Creations. Aunt Bex. Yes, her name is uh, Rebecca McCauley. Okay. And she sent this nice note. Okay. You should read, not out loud. <clears throat> oh, cool. That's real nice. So she made this journal for us to use to keep track of um, stuff about Junior. Oh, neat. It's, it's very, awesome. yeah. Did and you then, show this already? I did. And then she made him cool. some clothes. She made him some clothes. Yes. She, she makes, has clothes. She, made, she makes clothes for kids in, for charity and kids in need and stuff all the time. Okay. So she's got all these patterns for things she makes for kids. Okay. She made a couple of little boy things. Well, let's take a look. And I haven't opened them yet. And that was when I thought I would go get you. Oh, my goodness. A little onesie. And look, it's got little... Um, and it has snaps at the bottom. It's got little... Um, it's got... Salamanders um, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, look at this one. It's covered in dinosaurs. Who doesn't like dinosaurs? 
That is really cute. Ooh, that's thank, really nice. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. It's even got snaps down here. It's got snaps. Cool. He's growing like a weed, so I hope these still fit him. He's, what, 10 weeks, and he's in three- to six-month clothes? Yeah, these look so. like they're the right size. Yeah. Um. So, anyway, thank well, you so much. we're going to be babysitting him. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So we so can try him on. We'll definitely put him on. Tomorrow's our Arts and Crafts Day, anyway, with Tom, cool. uh, with Junior. And um, so okay. he might get messy. Look at that. It's got fish. It's got... Um, salamanders i mean how cute is that cute all types of things thank you oh, thank you we appreciate it i'll be back he won't he's got to go to work i, work I wasn't going to do this today but i did um so a few weeks back when i made my blanket coat um if you all haven't seen that i mean it, this is it right here but i'll put a picture so you can see it like properly i did add buttons recently um uh, Y'all loved it. My mother-in-law even commented on it, which she almost never does because she can't be bothered with social media anymore. My dad loved it. My dad never says anything. Um, and I mean, he's supportive, don't get me wrong, but he doesn't like do that. Um, he loved it. And he came and he tried tried that one on, the flowered one. It fit perfect. He and I are of similar stature anyway. Um, he said, you know, one of these would be great to wear around the house keep me nice and warm in the winter so I found a cover blanket thing today and he's gonna get it for Father's Day now am I gonna see him this weekend for actual Father's Day I'm not sure but I will see him in a couple of weeks so but yeah it's exactly like mine no except no buttons and um, a, a little bit longer tie but yeah and his is heavier. Um, it's actually got nicer batting in it. it. Nice cotton batting. It reminds me of um, like a pure cotton cotton ball. Um, so it's heavier. But that just means it's going to be warmer. So anyway, I'm going to clean up my mess now and watch some YouTube because, yeah, that's that was a lot for today. I'll be back. He's been asleep for a couple hours. I got Father's Day gift done. I got for a daughter. I got um, a Nintendo Switch case. I picked up inexpensive at a Japanese dollar store. It turned into a travel art case. And because after this last trip to California, I took way too much. I'm remembering why I don't do that anymore. Anyway. Um, I got an elastic band for said case made. I'll put a picture here. Um, got some repairs done on clothing for my daughter. She also says, hey mom, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think he's starting to wake up because he, I think he's probably hungry. And he's gonna need a diaper at some point, so. We'll see. Anyway, it's all good. I'll be back. A bunch of stuff cleaned up and put away around here in the art room. So, that's been needing to get done for a long time. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Friday morning, uh, 9, 17 a.m. We are gonna drive down to McMinnville. There Turn right. Joanne's Fabrics down that way and a Goodwill, I think, right next door. There's also a St. Vincent de Paul down there. So we're going to do some thrifting. I need a couple things at the interrupting me. So let's go see what we can see. I was debating about going down to McFin McMinnville to go thrifting or just going my usual route. Um, but I haven't been to McMinnville thrifting for a while. So we're going to go that way. There's two Goodwills that way and a St. Vincent de Paul. So we'll see. I'll be back. 
Okay, you guys. So something was telling me today, well, all, light, all night last night, that I should go out and go thrifting down this way. I couldn't seem to let it go. I thought, well, thrifting in the morning's fine, but I could just stay in town. I came down this way anyway. Anyway, and I'm also glad that I stopped at this Goodwill because I almost didn't. I found a plain white t-shirt for real cheap to try and upcycle with, with a piece I got at the St. Vincent de Paul. And I found a pair of lavender linen pants for less than 10 bucks. I think they were $6.99. They look like they're in fabulous condition. They're a color that already works with things in my wardrobe. I mean, 100% linen. And yeah, glad I stopped. But now we're done and I'm hungry, so we're gonna go home and have lunch. All right, I'll get everything washed up, get some laundry started, which I have to do anyway. Yeah, it's all good. I'll be back. <laughs> it's 9.44 a.m. Good morning. Yeah, Saturday, February. February, oh my God. February. It's June. June 17th. June 17th, oh my gosh. Tomorrow's Father's Day, we're going out for an early dinner with the kids, but that's for next week's vlog. <laughs> um, it does feel like February. It's cloudy. It does. Cool. Yeah, it's it's overcast. We're expected to get some <clears throat> rain in the next day or two. It's yeah. We're also, I don't know if it's the gray gloomies or what, but we're having trouble getting motivated this morning. As always. As always, yeah. We have to do our least favorite chore this morning which is grocery shopping so and these days it takes at least two sometimes three places to get everything we want so you know there's that <laughs> so we're gonna go hit all three today Costco Winco and Trader Joe's you know we have we have things that we want that not every store has yeah it's it's an us thing and not a store thing own, we own that Anyway, all right, so we're gonna go get that done. If anything interesting happens, I'll bring you with me, but otherwise I'll see you when we get back. Go check the mail. Bob is in the backyard working on removing some more of the pond that is broken and we're not gonna fix it anymore. We're tired of fixing it. Um, I'm going to sit on the couch and catch up on some things I needed to do that I was just too tired to do yesterday. One of those things is a um, upcycling and fashion inspiration book. Um, I've been doing so much sewing lately that's re-inspired my love of sewing. And I see things all the time that I'm like, oh, that would be cute. I can make that. And then I forget what it was. <laughs> so I am doing screenshots, saving pictures, and putting them in a composition notebook, which I had in the closet. And um, I'll show you a picture, I'll put a picture here. I'm gonna go sit and get that put together after I check the mail. <laughs> and uh, I don't think we're gonna do a whole hell of a lot today. There's a lot on the schedule for tomorrow because it's Father's Day. Um, but today, just getting projects done, which, you know, it's all well and good. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Maybe? Maybe. Hold on. I'm just such a professional videographer, aren't I? <laughs> Ooh. So I found this long, like, maxi skirt. This is a woven. This is a knit. Yes, I was able to put them together. I could add the draw. The skirt had a drawstring. I thought for a minute about put, putting them on. I don't want to. I'll save them for probably for a different project because they're kind of cute little. Anyway. But this is cute and comfortable. The only thing it doesn't have is pockets, but otherwise I'm pretty happy. What do you think? I did get the idea from a fellow YouTuber and I will link her video down below. She did a couple of these and hers turned out really cute. And anyway, just to give you some ideas, but yeah, I'm pretty pleased. I'll be back. When I came up here, it was to do something completely different. It wasn't to make that dress. But on my way up here, I grabbed the things that I bought at the thrift stores yesterday that I want to upcycle. 
And as I was putting them away in our closet of upcycling supplies, um, I, yeah, I don't know. Now we have a dress. I don't know. So <laughs> now I have to finish what I came up here for, put my basic pattern hanger away and I still need to water the house plants. Bob went over to the kid's house to grab some dirt because he's trying to still fill the broken pond in. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. It's been a day, a good day, but a day. I'll be back. We are just sitting here. We've got Wednesday on TV. We've had dinner. We've had lunch. Mr. Bob has worn himself out doing the work on the pond hole. It's now just a hole. It's a hole, girl. It's a hole, yeah. But the son-in-law is digging the foundation hole at his house for an addition on their house. So we have access to plenty of dirt. So we just go over every weekend to grab some buckets of dirt and fill the hole. It's working. I'm working on my next crochet project. Bob calls it my piece of bacon. Anyway, it's been a good day. I like the dress that I made. Mr. Bob likes it too. I may actually wear it for Father's Day dinner tomorrow. That would be funny. But it would be a very comfortable. I might even wear my shoes I haven't worn yet. The new brown boots I bought that I haven't even worn yet. We'll see. I'll, I'll get you a picture and stick it here at the end of the vlog if I do wear it. And uh, you can see what how it turns out. It was a wholly unexpected project, but I can't say I'm mad about it. Anyway, it's been a great week. It's been a great day. I'll put in any relevant links down in the video description. My happy mail address and all that stuff is down there too, so check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I have a brand new video that came out today about working on a pattern for a canvas version of a Swiss Army medic bag. The pattern is far from polished and we're working the bugs out in fact i don't even have the original bag i sent it home with my sister and the pattern she also sews and she has a friend who's actually a professional uh, seamstress that made bags for a living um, so they're gonna see what they can do by looking at it but she thought it was a great idea anyway so stay tuned um and go watch the video because i think it's interesting and if you have any ideas put something in the comments don't forget to um, go out and this weekend celebrate Father's Day. Do something fun. Do something creative. And just go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.